Alright, we're gonna go in here with fresh eyes and I'm gonna know exactly how to solve this puzzle... ...somehow. I did it! Fuck. <laughs> It'd be really funny if it was two actions. Could be still. Yeah, so all you get here is one... ...one little log. I had to push off the other log to get here, so I'm probably not using that log to get around. There are weird collections of rocks around here. But like, what would you use that for? It'd be like, it'd be like, eh. Like, start here and go, buh. Buh. I did it. And then you go nowhere. Or like here. And just go that way. And then that way again. I don't know, maybe those rocks are to deflect you from going, like, from getting here from from below. Some rocks might just be cosmetic in the ocean. I don't even know. See, so yeah, I can't get behind this. Yeah. I'm just gonna end up in the same... ...logic traps as last time, aren't I? Isn't that interesting? I can't get on the raft... ...to push off of it to do weird stuff like that, but once it's on it, I can just push the raft that way. And that's... yeah! There we go. Yeah! Combo! <laughs> Beat two islands, that's how good I am. That's how that... that's how this game works. Uh... Uh... Um... Okay. Not a lot of neighboring islands around. That one up there? I think there's one up there. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Yeah. You ever just accidentally push down a tree with your monstrous strength? <laughs> Doesn't mean either. Yeah, that's an island up there. So maybe I'm supposed to go up? I mean, you know, it's freedom. Any direction you can go in, you probably should go in. But ultimately, yeah, I figure I make a raft with two of these, right? And then the third one I push off of to get around. So we'll probably find the logistics shit. We'll probably find that the logistics of where you can reasonably get this to work limit us in where what directions we can go. Like how right here I'm struggling to make a raft. Wow, look at me go. Oh god. It's like a worst of all worlds raft. So you feel designed for me to just, just chonk you right into the river there. And then... Da 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 Alright, so I can't, I can't get you to go that way because I can't push you. Can't push you there. The other way is just pushing you directly into the water. So if this guy's either I'm supposed to make a raft here, <clears throat> or the only way to get him away from that log is to use other stumps like the one I used here. But this is not a phenomenal solution either. For reasons. I can get either of them to get into that spot in the same position, which means that if I could do that with both, they would raft without rolling over each other. But in situations like this, like, I can't get behind it now because the rock blocks the only way around. 
which creates problems. This is weird for its own white reasons. There's okay, so there's three rocks there. <clears throat> Some of those ones I was looking at before. So if I launch from here, which I don't think I even can do, I'd hit that rock and just come back. If I launch from here, then I could go up by one, but then that rock, the rock would just make me go back down, then come back here. If I launch from here, I would thread between them, hit that rock, those two rocks in the middle, and then get down to that island. So this must be a valid raft location. It's also the first one I was trying to do a minute ago. Then we have questions about this guy, right? Like, what can I do with this guy? So if I put him here, he'll never get past that log. So you probably put him here. Because then you can push him down. You can even do something crazy like this. Oh yeah, it's pretty much the raft I need. Did I just solve it? Yes. There might this that place feels like it has more solutions though. But we'll see. Hmm. I definitely take this one to mean that I'm supposed to read the surrounding area and figure out how to raft. If I push you onto you, then I, then you'll go with it, and then roll off. Then I can push off the rock to go off into a different fucking planet. Goodbye. Okay, that wasn't as far as I thought it would be, but okay. That's cool. I'm at peace with that. Reverse speed camera. After a slow-moving tourist caused a 50-person pileup on Oxford Street, England lands pavements were divided into fast and slow lanes. Reverse speed cameras were brought in to identify and prosecute ditherers who dawdled in the brisk lane. How dare you not go fast enough. This is England. People only rush here. It's what we're known for. We, I say. Um... I think I'm supposed to push you here, because then I can push off of it, because the rock will hold it in place. Because it's only one log, so I can't make like a new raft, and there's nothing, nothing to bridge to. So that must have been all I was supposed to do. It will, oh, it'll never not mess with me how some islands are so fast and some ones are, some are so short. I just never, and I never at first glance know which one I am dealing with. So you can only get past this tree and rock situation by pushing this one over in this direction. Like, that's the only way through. And at that point, it seems likely you would just push it in the water. But I'm not sure. We might be putting a raft here? I put you here that I can push you up. And then it's a pretty easy raft to make! A good snowman may be hard to build, but a raft seems pretty fucking easy if you ask me. I did it. Wow. What an honor. Anyway. Um. If I push you here, then we'll still get to keep the log. And then I can evade the rock. And, and... Oh, hey, a semicolon. I was worried that I was just back here and that was my only reward was getting the mailbox I already had. Wink emoji dots. Disgruntled human grammar prescriptivists became so outraged over the mistreatment of the semicolon that they attempted a punctuation coup. Their main goal was to stop other humans from referring to it as those wink emoji dots. Oh my god, do people do that? That's, that sounds believable, but I've never heard that before. But it's really funny. Ah, this is useless because I need to put it by the rock. Didn't mean to do that. Getting sloppy. Boop. Bye. No, I've been here before. Could I have not been here before? 
It looks like I got here via a somewhat strange raft location. Did I leave via a raft? I'm not sure that I did leave this place via a raft, did I? Hmm. So maybe this is new? We still need to figure out how to get down there. So maybe the existence of raft gives us possibilities. Or some shit. Um, God, it could be a raft from up there, even. Chances are all over the place. This one made a raft. Have I ever gone? Would I have done this before? Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna go with yes. I'm gonna go with yes, I've done that before. So I'm- yeah, I already made a raft here, too. You can tell because both of those trees are missing. <laughs> what if you make a raft down there to go up here? To there? I don't know. There's a lot of guesswork in just trying to figure out what direction even are the platform... ...expectations. This creates a raft of, of the- Blah. I was gonna say this makes me able to get behind this tree and push it from behind, and then it just goes there, which seems not very good. I did it! Hello! You're welcome! Okay. Disappear. <laughs> hmm. So you start off on the shoreline, so I can't really get you away from the shoreline, and they really all do. Hmm. I don't really see myself being able to do a whole lot about the fact that this raft is here to get over there. Even if I create a log to push off of, it would just put me back down, which that's me back where I came from anyway. Which isn't helpful. But I think this was originally kind of a secret location, and that was the more main location. I don't even know, man. Honestly, everything... <laughs> I, it's so easy to lose track of how you got anywhere the first time. And what you think stuff means in those terms. Where do I even want to go right now? Um, it's not even telling me to go anywhere in this island area. There's some secrets there that I don't know how to get to. They're otherwise just telling me to go somewhere else entirely. Footsteps in two different directions. That's a new area, apparently. Yep. Oh yeah, we have two entirely new areas, basically. To go to. So we are good. Who is messaging me? Stop it. Don't you know this is my time for the no talking to me? I'm known for? Anyway. Is that big enough? It just is. Unexpectedly. This direction seems, uh, seems unhelpful at first glance. This one also does. That one perhaps least, uh, least of all so. Hmm. So I can't push it down. So if I were gonna make if I were gonna make a raft, I'd push it left. Cause then at least they're facing the same direction. 
But I don't see how I'd ever get it there. And even if I could, there's nothing to push off of, so I don't really... I don't really know yet what the other tree's for. Car boot sale. England landers with an excess of cassette tapes, distressed denim, and collectible sporks would occasionally all flock the same car park in early hours of the weekend and turn their vehicles into mobile shops. The money they earned selling their wares would be spent on hot cocoa. Oh, car boot sale. Like the trunk. I think a car boot in the United States is that thing you put on a car on a wheel so it can't turn to basically because you're, you're a parking enforcer. I think that's what a boot is in the United States. So I was very confused. It's like they're, I was waiting for some sort of riff on traffic law. Very heartwarming. Oh, and they spent it all on hot cocoa. So wholesome. Not quite good enough. So if I roll you over me, I can push this up by one. Oopsie, I don't want to do that here. And now it bridges the gap! There we go. There's like a whole maneuver we like to do now, apparently. But now there's a rock in the way, so I can't just push it up by one when it's in this part of the configuration. Which is decidedly unhelpful. So let's push you up by one, and now when it rolls over, it'll knock you over. And now I lose. Which, oh, now it'll hit the rock. Some of these islands definitely just exist to bridge gaps between places because they, things didn't line up how they wanted them to or something. Because there just isn't a puzzle on them. Very no noticeably. Wow! What are we hoping for? Yeah, I don't see any way to roll this tree to escape its starting position. This one can go here. Which is something. They can push you over it to escape the starting position. Then you knock you over a bit. That's not great. Now if I roll this... Oh, I know that we want that. That's all there was to that island. The Dangle Garden! Well, the humans of England land generally enjoyed a reputation for maniacal garden maintenance. A handful of folk preferred smaller, more airborne projects. The height helped guard against invasion by slugs and put the flowers closer to the bees. <laughs> you gotta encourage bee pollination. Bees, notorious for not just naturally going to flowers with their ability to fly. No, you need to... See, the bees are in the air, and they stay in the air, so you gotta bring the flowers up to air level. Obviously. Like, it's like I'm talking to a child. Alright, so I'm stuck on this side of the island, and the only way across is to do this. So that seems pretty set in stone. And now things don't seem as great. Honestly. Not totally loving it. T B eight. Going in the water seems like it just goes nowhere. I can't push it from the other direction. 
This seems like the way to go. Oh, right. Because I can stand on top of this log. Push it. And that's... That's the... What is with these islands? They're so easy. I guess to some extent you don't really have a strong sense of what order you'd ever want to do them in. Which can make this feel weird in its own ways. Okay, so this one's gonna be sideways, so I need to push it first, or otherwise it'll roll over the other one. And off I go again! I have no idea how far I am in this game. <laughs> Hello. You'd almost be tempted to, to see the fog as a percentage completion thing. But so much of it might be empty ocean, and also I don't know what the XY bounds of it are, so it's extra useless on that term. That's where we're trying to get to ultimately, is that ship. Dude, it just goes. The puzzles are good, but I would hate to have to, like, backtrack to, like, find places and figure out extra secrets in certain spots just because uh, there's not much going it for it landmarks wise I would say like the mo the the roller coaster is probably an effective landmark but even then I don't have much memory of like the layout around the roller coaster this game doesn't necessarily make you don't really end up remembering it's it's a uh, level layouts the way you would like a metroidvania it's a series of they feel it's like it's it's funny because everything's super interconnected in this game but in your brain it still feels like a series of relatively isolated puzzles then you then you're like whoa it led here and that's a surprise usually But I'm like, oh yeah, go back to the angel statue with the thing, like the weird, like, series of brain, brain thoughts. Good, good, good job. Uh, but the series of thoughts you have playing a Metroidvania-style thing, where you start getting more and more in tune with the layout of the world around you, doesn't necessarily apply. So my... Uh, Ability to backtrack is li is uh, limited at best. How would I make this a bridge? Especially when the other one just seems to be designed to just plop over. Hmm. Junk mail. As laws around rubbish disposal became stricter, enterprising humans came up with increasingly devious ways to offload their litter. One method was to affix a stamp and an address label to, of an, un uh, to an unwanted item, then post it to one's enemies. <laughs> Start mailing your trash. Oh. That would basically- I mean, that would be a more relatable version than what junk mail actually is, which is just... ...vaguely infuriating, mostly. So here's a problem. Whichever order I push them in, the other one will end up not going in the water. Do I want them to go in the water, though? Even if they both made a raft here... I couldn't push off anything. The rock's too far away and there's no more logs in this island. I'm probably just supposed to make a bridge down here. Hmm... If I do this, I can't get on that log to push off. 
If I do this, I can get on that log to push off. And that was the island puzzle. There we go. This positioning doesn't give me a lot to work with. Hmm. But in this one's case, both push directions go off the cliff. I feel like you use this one... do something. Hmm. can't push the bottom one up, so I can't, like, make a bridge here that would let me push this one to the right. The only, the only valid push direction is this starting off. And then this tree is in the way. And I can't push it from on top of this. So, oh, but I can, I can re-erect it here. Do 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 um Well none of those are giving me big favors. would have to be standing up here or here and then I could keep rolling it to get over there. This one doesn't feel like I can do anything else with it. I can push you in the way and then get very confused about what I'm supposed to do about that. any of those useful at all. We have a get on top of rocks trick that I've never really gotten that much use out of, and I, but and once again I don't think I can get on top of these rocks very well. Among other things I can't walk on, yeah. I have to be able to lay this that way across, which I can't. jump off here. Hey, that's it. That's all it was. I'm so dumb. But now it's done. Hmm. If this rolled left, we'd already have a bridge. Like, even if I could push it down, which I can't. Oh, nope. 
I was gonna say there's no way to push this thing to like hit it like a pool stick, basically. But I didn't need to. I, I can jump off and do it myself. Alphabet collection. During the era of maximum computing, humans developed a curiously personal relationship with the written language. One manifestation of this was how humans would set a framed alphabet on their desk and then stroke it almost non-stop for eight full hours. Uh... A sensual. <laughs> when you just turned on by your alphabet. Your alpha bet, am I right? <laughs> I like that the beanstalk sticks up so high that it, you can see it through the fog every time I reset. Just stick straight through it. So reaching you from there seems pretty trash. That also seems pretty trash. So with this, I can go behind you and push you back up. Which enables me to do this and lose. Hooray. Or this. Which is also not great. Wow. Like, wowie zowie. Good job, boy. Forget this to bridge the gap. I'm not sure what it would want from me. Hmm. See, if this is here, and I could get behind somehow, I could push it left, it would roll over the log and land where I am, which would offset it by one space, allowing me to maybe... Hmm. I don't remember if it lands laying down or standing up. If it lands laying down, then it would stand up where the log is, then lay down on top of the post, then stand up past the post, and then lay down as it fell, falls into the water, creating a bridge in that direction. But we have a problem, which is that I can't get behind this thing without knocking it down. And my solution for getting it back up when I knock it down to get behind it is to use the log. That seems pretty useless. Like, when I do this, I can get behind this, then come back and knock it over, and then, haha! Then be very sad, because the, uh, thing I wanted to push it onto isn't there. Because it's over here. And, like, the order of operations is I need to be able to get behind this thing first. Then we do the part where I push it over. But then it's in the water, and I can't get back out. Is there an external log I can use?
Because when I do this part, it also involves pushing you into the water. That's how this part works. Yeah, we have a whole system lately where we we stand on top of a felled tree and use the fact that we're standing on its trunk to then push the other thing. But I don't say how to employ that here besides just unless this is enough and like is that just what the is that just the use of that theme here and that's it? Standing on this then pushing back to get the tree back up? Maybe. Then what do I do with that? That don't make no sense to me. But I also can't stand on top of this. kind of silly. I see it, though. God, there's so many, like, quirks to the design of the level around me that it make Yeah, see, so I jump off of it onto the log, then I push it down. And then it's a bridge. That's the whole level. <laughs> there's so many little quirks in the design of this island that it makes it feel like those are all related to what you're doing. And it feels like you're like, ah, but this is clearly the solution, right? And I'm just missing a step. And then it is just a really simple case of push the log in the water, hop on the log, and then push it over. Like, you just gotta figure out what they mean by that. Like, this, this is a funny element of the levels here is that you can realize what the solution is because the, all of the islands in the arc sometimes have the same solution. But you still have to figure out where that solution is or how that solution is. It's like, I know what it's gonna, I know what the verb's gonna be, but there's so much wiggle room for where the verb could be still. It means that, especially once you've observed that trend better, you can then go back to old levels and try to solve them based on the other levels, but it makes it a little bit of a pain because you have to kind of like figure out what those levels' themes were in the first place, which is not always easy. I guess unless you just go back and resolve them for a while. Hmm. I'm stuck. I lose. <laughs> 